Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to quickly create the look of classic woodcuts from photos. For your convenience, I provided this image of wood that you could download. Its link is in my video's description or project files. Before we begin, if you're not already a subscriber to Blue Lightning TV, smash that subscribe button to let you know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials. Open a photo of someone or something that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. We'll place it onto the wood texture. If your Move tool isn't active, press V on your keyboard. Drag your photo onto the tab of the wood texture. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. To resize it, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to a corner and drag it in or out. To reposition it, go inside the Transform's bounding box and drag it. Then press Enter or Return. If the background behind your subject isn't white, we'll need to make a selection around the subject so we can separate it from its background. Even though mine is already white, I'll show you how to do it. I generally like to use the Quick Selection tool in most cases. If you're using this tool as well, and are using version CC 2018 or later, click the Select Subject button, which automatically analyzes your image and selects the subject. On earlier versions, drag your Quick Selection tool over the inside of your subject. To remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag over those areas. To refine edges that are soft or feathery, like hair or fur, go to Select. If you're using a version earlier than CC 2015.5, click Refine Edge. On later versions, click Select and Mask. If you prefer to use Refine Edge, shift click Select and Mask. I did in-depth tutorials on both of these filters, so if you want to watch them, I provided their links as well. Check Smart Radius. This detects smooth and hard edges. If you want to adjust the size of your brush, make sure your caps lock key is off and press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. Brush over the soft edges. Check Decontaminate Colors. This prevents color fringing, which is a very thin outline of color or tone that you could see along the perimeter of your subject. Drag the amount to 100%. Output it to a new layer with Layer Mask. We'll make a new layer below the active layer, which will fill with white. Control click or command click the new layer icon. Before we fill it with white, Check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Make your top layer active. We'll convert it into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right and click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Sketch folder and click Photocopy. Drag the Detail and Darkness sliders all the way to the right. Feel free to adjust the amount of detail you want for your image. For my image, I'll keep it at 24. Open the Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Control or Command click any of the channel thumbnails to select your image. Open back your Layers panel. We'll make an inverted layer mask of the selection next to our subject by Alt or Option clicking the layer mask icon. Hide the white background and change the blend mode of our active layer to soft light. Make a copy of it by pressing Control or Command J to double the effect of the Soft Light Blend Mode. Double click on an empty area of the Layer 1 Copy 1 just below its name to open the Layer Style window. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Inner Bevel, the technique is Chisel Soft, and the depth is 100%. The direction is Down, 
the size is 5 pixels, and the soften is 0. Check Use Global Light. The angle is 120 degrees, and the altitude is 30 degrees. The glass contour is linear. The highlight mode is linear dodge. The color is white, and the opacity is 30%. The shadow mode is linear burn. The color is black, and its opacity is also 30%. If you want to crop it, open your rectangular marquee tool and drag it over your document. The areas outside the selection will be cropped off once we go to Image and Crop. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.